Hello, my name is Paul Boag and you're watching a presentation entitled Fight the System, which is a presentation that looks at battling bureaucracy within large organizations. It's especially aimed at website owners and internal web teams that are constantly struggling to um, get their projects through within their organization and to, to move their website on. And the talk has come about very much because um, I've been working with internal web teams over a long length of time. The kind of work that I do a lot of um, is consultancy and development and design work um, within large organizations, higher education um, organizations or uh, government bodies and that kind of thing. And the thing that I'm coming across time and time again is that the internal web teams have been quite beaten down. They're quite depressed, really, because um, every time that they come up with an idea for the website every time they want to do something they constantly have to battle with bureaucracy and politics and red tape in order to make it happen i often find that as i go into these organizations and i make a suggestion they say oh no you'll never get that past so and so so over the years i've developed certain techniques and tactics that i i use in order to circumnavigate this kind of politics um, and so what i want to do in this presentation is share with you um, some of the things that I do in order to, uh, to make sure projects move forward and web projects move forward within an organization and that the website can be as an effective tool as possible without being hampered by politics and bureaucracy and red tape, etc. Now, I'm also in this presentation going to make some recommendations to you, the internal web team in terms of how you deal with politics yourself internally, because there is a difference between my situation as an external consultant coming in and your situation as you work internally within an organization. And these suggestions that I'm making um, are very much based on um, stuff that I've tried with various organizations and I've seen to work. Now, whether they'll work in your organization, I don't know. Every organization is different. Every company is different. You all face different problems. You all have different, um, you know, problem people. Um, but I hope that this presentation will be useful to you. Now, let's, however, start with the problem. What is the problem? What is it that makes you, as an internal um, you know, uh, member of a web team, um, what is it makes that you want to you know, end it all and just run away screaming? Now, there are certain problems that I see occurring again and again, and these are the problems that I want to try and address. Now, the first one is departmental feuds. Now, this often I find happens between um, marketing departments and IT departments um, where you see them, them battling um, over the web. That the IT departments see it as their responsibility and that they own the website and they certainly own the technology and the, um, you know, they're in charge of maybe the content management system and the hosting environment and the rest of it. And then the marketing team that is in control of the message. They're the people um, that want to be communicating, and they see the website as a communication tool. And so these two organize, uh, these two departments often butt heads, um, and there there comes conflict. Now it's not just marketing and technology; you can have all kinds of different conflicts within the organisation. Um, and departmental feuds are a common problem that are uh, endured within a lot of large organizations. And it's often the website that gets caught in the middle of it, especially in terms of things like homepage real estate or information architecture. Everybody wants their, um, their message to be featured on the homepage. Everybody wants um, you know, their organization to be um, with you know, the top level of the information architecture. It becomes a, the website almost becomes a battleground for these departmental feuds. So that's one problem, but that's not the only problem. The other problem is, is people making uninformed decisions. One of the reality is, is uh, as a website owner or as a member of the internal web team, is that you're required to consult. When, you, uh, when you're um, developing a new project, making some changes to the website, there are always people that you need to talk to. But at the end of the day, although those people are experts in their particular area, whether it be marketing or sales or, you know, or whatever else within the organization, they're not experts on the web. And so oftentimes, they're, they're making decisions based on the wrong factors, um, and they're not considering the unique properties of the web um, and how, the, how a website should be run and operated. So there is a real problem with uninformed decision makers. 
And often is the case is the higher within the organization the person is, the less well-informed they are about um, the specifics of the, the web project. So oftentimes you can have a CEO or a vice chancellor or whoever else right at the top of your organization come in and completely scupper a web project because they don't understand um, the ins and outs of the project, but they have their particular slant on it and they want to make their mark on it. Another problem which relates to this whole area of um, consulting is committees. Do you have a steering group within your organization? A lot of organizations seem to have a web steering group which has got various stakeholders that, that um, you know, in the website that will come together and they sit on the committee and you have to report into that committee and get approval from them. Now that creates all kinds of major problems um, not least because committees are often um, dominated by one or two individuals that are very, you know, kind of alpha male about the whole thing and tend to bounce everybody else along with them um, and persuade everybody to kind of see the world as they see it. Um, so it's not really a committee at all. It's just one or two dominant individuals that are, are using the group as leverage um, to get what they want done. 